I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV here at AutoSense Detroit in the heart of the Motor City at the Michigan Science Center. And we're here today with Tetraview with Francois Rene, who's in charge of their marketing and business development. And Francois, these are very comfortable seats. This is nice to get off our feet. Yes, so we did AutoSense last year. Um, I actually love the conference, but we learned some tough lessons. And getting comfortable seating was definitely one that we wanted to get on board with this year. Francois, thank you for having us. Tell us about Tetraview. What is, tell us about your company. Sure. So Tetraview was founded in 2008, um, and yet we still retain a semi-startup feel, which we enjoy. Um, it makes us very flexible, very nimble, and we appreciate that aspect of the business. Um, we were founded in 2008 by an amazing scientist called Paul Banks. He was with um, a very large company for a very long time, working with lasers, was fascinated with 3D. And I mean fascinated by 3D since a child, since he was a child. Um, and he decided to leave behind the corporate world and start his own business. Um, it was funded originally through government projects, uh, made its way to 2016 when we were funded by Robert Bosch, Samsung, Foxconn, Nautilus Partners, to name just a few. Um, and that actually allowed us to become a, a little more than a startup company and actually become a real business. Um, automotive is the um, primary focus of the company. We were funded by Robert Bosch, so that's pretty logical leap um, to understand. Um, I think what is most important about TetraView is, of course, the dedication and the vision of the founder, but also that we do LiDAR very, very differently from anybody else. And as you know, there's been a lot of talk about LiDAR over the last few years. So, Francois, that's very key. You said you do LiDAR differently than anybody else. Can you give us an idea of, of what that means? Sure. Um, so we're actually taking an optical approach to LiDAR versus an electronic approach to LiDAR. What does that mean? It means that instead of using lasers um, as beams or as arrays, we actually use them to illuminate a whole field of vision. And that's what's known as flash, which makes us a solid state flash LiDAR solution. Um, the other interesting part is we're 4D. What does 4D mean? 4D is the regular 3Ds, X, Y, Z, plus T, the notion of time. Now, most LiDAR solutions today build an image of its surrounding over time, meaning that you need to scan several times to get a whole picture of what's around you, which can be very dangerous to an extent if you're driving at the same time, because you're not looking at the same image every single second or microsecond for that matter. What we do is we illuminate the whole scene in front of us, the whole field of vision. That means we get the full visibility, the whole picture at every single frame. And we do this 30 times per second. That means we have zero lag in the information that we give back. What does actually mean in real terms? It means that we see an obstacle in real time. There is not that one to two second delay that you may find you see what happens as it's happening and we all agree that's incredibly important with self-driving technology. Incredible technology, honestly. Uh, thank you for that description, Francois. I see on your banner here one of the uh, points that you have is low power consumption. So, uh, what is low power consumption in this context and why is it important? So, low power, um, I can't give you figures for obvious reasons, um, but what does it mean? It means that it can be in a car, in a smaller vehicle, on a drone for example, and have very low power consumption. In a car, it's less of a problem because you have your alternators and that can solve that issue. On a drone, where you're limited in power, or even a smaller vehicle, say for example in logistics, when you have these self-driving vehicles that take uh, boxes from one side of another, they're limited in power. So you want to be as low power as possible so you're not a drain on the system, but rather an advantage to the system. Makes sense. Now, Francois, let's say that I'm just a regular car owner and I don't know anything about LiDAR, but I'm learning about autonomous cars. Uh, what would you say to me as somebody who's never known anything about LiDAR? Is, is the TetraView LiDAR, can I trust that in my car? Absolutely. Um, so we are high resolution LiDAR. What does that mean? It means that instead of just getting a few points or several points on an object, we get the range and the intensity on every single pixel within the field of vision. What does that mean? It means you're not guessing what you see. I can see a mouse, no animals were hurt in this test, we use plush toys. We were able to see 
a little mouse at over a hundred feet. We can see a human, we can see a ball. It means we can make a difference between a rock or a plastic bag. When your car has split second decision making ability and you want to have an obstacle in the middle of the road and you want your car to react, if it's a plastic bag, you want it to go straight, it doesn't matter because every movement the car is going to make could potentially cause an accident on the side because you're trying to evade an obstacle. If it's a rock, different story, we see that too. That's where we're very important and why people can trust our LiDAR. We see exactly what's in front of the car. We're not guessing. I see a car, I see a motorcycle, I see a bicycle, I see a child, I see a dog. That's crucial when you want to make sure that your car sees everything in front of it. Francois, I can tell that you're very passionate about your job and about you know, Tetraview's product offering. Uh, tell us, uh, what, is, what is the favorite part of your job? W what do you enjoy most? Um, so interestingly enough, um, outside of the automotive space, um, which is a lot more, it's quite rational, if you will, in the entertainment space, which is based on creativity, every time we meet with people in that industry, Seeing the reaction in their eyes is what makes me passionate. I've actually gone back to the office, asked the staff to close their eyes, think about the most proudest moment they've had in their life. And they do, and then I tell them, open your eyes. And I thank them because they give me that moment every time I meet with somebody who's creative because industries have always had an idea of what 3D means, but no one's been able to translate that into a reality. They see our solution and all of a sudden, they know that what they've dreamt of will be happening because we can facilitate it. More importantly, give them another half hour and they start thinking about all the things they're going to be able to do that they never even thought would be possible. That's why I'm passionate about what I do. Francois, that's fantastic. Uh, do you have any final thoughts to add? Anything about Tetraview? Anything in general that you want to tell our AutoSense TV viewers? Yes. Um, a word of caution, if I may. Um, and that is, we all want to see automated vehicles, we all want to see this great technology implemented. But if we could all learn from what's happened, and I'm going to use the last year as a point of reference, in terms of accidents and what certain companies are doing um, to be the first ones to market, and seeing that life has become a collateral damage, let's do things the right way. Even if it's a little slower, it doesn't matter. Let's make sure that we keep people safe and that cars do what we want them to do, which is take it, get us from point A to point B, take us on vacation, take us to work, and do it safely. Francois, thank you so much. Speaking today with Francois René from Tetraview, talking about great technology, promising technology, but doing things the right way and sparking innovation and passion at every turn. For more AutoSense TV, join us on YouTube.